Hi, I'm Engineer Bill. Today we're going to talk about Halloween. Why a Halloween in the workshop? Well, for me, uh, most of my engineering career was as a theme park engineer, so I was exposed to a lot of mask making and Halloween type activities. And I spent many years doing exclusively animatronics. So I was exposed to all this Halloween type stuff. Halloween Horror Nights everybody's heard about. I'm expected to provide some kind of level of costume. So I don't have time for any of this stuff anymore. However, I do have a box of tricks. Techniques I've used, I can get outfitted impressively in less than half an hour. And I bet you would like to see some of those tricks that I use. So I'll talk about some of what I have in the shop here, the old style of doing it. And then I'm staged in the other room where I can show you my quickie techniques. So come along. All right, before I show you my quick way, I'll show you the traditional way. And if you're gonna make some kind of costume or outfit, you wanna start with a clay model like I have over here. But before you can do that, you start with bars of clay. You have to pick up some of these. I don't really like using these because these are just too small, really. I buy this and this has been cut down from this size in a big brick and it's, uh, it's called plasticine clay. Sometimes I use other different clays. And I'll model it on some kind of platform. Sometimes I will make a casting of myself or others. I'll use things like uh, powdered algonite. You can uh, look all that stuff up on how to do the faces and I'll produce a plaster model so I can do appliances. Yes, this is me. Pretty recent too, about a half a year ago. Sometimes I'll do other forms of duplication besides plaster modeling me and I'll use uh, I have a whole container full of sculpting tools. I even have one of these things so I can measure and then make sure I have the right distances for everything in between. If I'm doing a sculpture, I even have, uh, this is special plaster. I even buy them in the, the big bags. Once you put a soft material like algonite, then you need to back it up with something firmer and these are plaster bandages. They come in rolls like this. You wet them down, wrap them all around. And there's other things you want to use too. Once you get your mold going, uh, some parts of the kits you want to have. Airbrush is nice. Mold release. Liquid latex. Two-part rubbers for all kinds of durometers and textures and this and that. Look at all this. But my schedule is so tight uh, these days that there's no way I can do any of this stuff anymore. So I'm going to show you now what I use and how I come up with uh, effective costumes almost on the last minute. Okay, my recommendations for outfitting yourself for Halloween. It, uh, it doesn't include going to parties or trying to win awards. Although I've had some complaints from parents, that's what you want to do. You want to uh, spook the parents, not the children. I have a container like this and I keep it in my storage room and I keep it full of uh, stuff that I've had over the years. One of the tips I'm going to give you right now is no makeup, no appliances, no glue on the face. You want quick, you have to use a mask. The other tip I'm going to give you is less is more. Dark clothing, dark stuff, don't show any skin at all. Keep everything very simple. You let the imagination do its job. Here's a good thing to have in here, and this is from one of my old bead blasters. You can buy these gloves really cheap, but you want some kind of gloves on your hands. These uh, work out great. So maybe I'll use that. Uh, what else do I have? This is something else. I think one of my kids a long time ago 
you know, the beard and, and mustache thing. It's, it's a cheap kit. I never use this for this application. What I've done in the past is I've cut off and I use the hairs. And then you can glue it onto your mask for eyebrows or mustache or, or sideburns. And they look really realistic. And this is the source I use for, for fine hair work. There used to be when I put spirit gum and make the mustache come out much longer. You, there's all kinds of things you can do with this. You can see some of it's been cut back. But that's why we hang on to this. Now, this is great. This is probably one of my real big tips. When you put something on as a costume, you want something that people don't see too often. And this is just a paper clean room suit. And one of the best things over here is that you don't have to worry about your feet being exposed. The other tip I can give you is do not show any skin. Uh, the kids will be looking. If they don't see any skin, they'll be confused. But if they see the slightest bit, your wrist or ankles, you're, you're gonna lose them. And that's the, it segues into another tip. Do not wear shoes that are everyday shoes. Wear boots something that's beat up. So let's see what I can do with this. Now I do have a, a couple masks. It's pretty effective for some applications. I can see out of it and I can breathe pretty easily. And it's fairly comfortable. I don't think this is gonna match what I have on right now. So let's dig a little bit further. Some more black cloth. Oh. I got another big tip for you. This probably belonged to my daughter when she was very, very young. And it's just a black skirt. And these are perfect for head styles because even if they're a little big, I, put, I can put a little clamp in here and make it smaller as stretch material. So I can put it on. And it's one of my favorite things to do, a certain flow and look, especially if you're going through the wind or the air as you're walking along and it flops back. Uh, it really creeps people out. And I might use that for with this outfit. This is my special secret weapon. I'm going to save that for later. You won't go wrong with this. This has caused more fear, more entertainment from, from just walking around talk about these a little bit later too. Here's a mask that might do well. I actually printed this out from my 3D printer. And I think that this, this works perfectly with this outfit. And these gloves aren't going to really do it with this outfit. It's not a good match. It kind of ruins the theme. But I do happen to have a whole bunch of these uh, gloves. You buy them in a big pack. They come white, they come blue. And I think up there you lose the shape of the hands or the details. And the color matches with all this pretty well. So let's go see what this looks like in a proper environment. Easy, I just hold it in my hand. I don't connect it to anything. I don't have any moving parts on it, but it's very effective. I usually ask the kids to prove how brave they are and shake my hand, and they do. Shake my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Kevin, you want to touch it? Kevin, you want to touch it? Shake my hand. Candy. Candy gone.
last one I'm just going to show you real quick and it's my favorite one and it is the simplest, the cheapest and the most effective. Guaranteed. Okay, so this is a, a simple outfit, as simple as it gets. I get a wire that goes to a 9 volt battery. I can see everything out of it. Now what this is made of is, believe it or not, just screen room screen. And it's about three layers. I put one layer down and then I staple the LEDs in place where the eyes would be and then I put another layer or maybe two layers and what did I use to attach this and to make it round like the face uh, a regular staple you can see the staples all along the side so I, and then I trimmed it up and then again a rubber band and I just stapled it on here and I'll tell you, this creeps out people more than anything else I've ever done. And that includes walking around where there's hundreds of people uh, going to a contest and it's a little bit dark outside. And I've had people just flip out when I stop and turn and look at them. One other thing I do have, you can buy these uh, from who knows where, but I printed these out online. My 3D printer. And this is really great for the teenagers because they will ask you to remove your mask. I said, oh, I know better. Remove your mask. Well, that's fine. Remove your mask and make sure you have these things underneath the mask. And they remove the mask. They're just not accustomed to seeing it. They go nuts. You win. Anyway, those are my tips. Have a great Halloween. Make it simple. Make it quick. Thanks for watching.